course learning outcomes. An introduction. As a student, what do I need to know about course learning outcomes? By the end of this short video, you should be able to define course learning outcomes or CLOs for short, explain why CLOs matter, identify how to find your CLOs, and recall the importance of timing and CLOs. The first thing that you need to know is what are course learning outcomes. Course learning outcomes are statements that clearly say what students should know and be able to do as a result of and at the conclusion of a course. Course learning outcomes focus on observable behaviors. So some verbs that are often used in CLOs are identify, analyze, and create. You may or may not have recognized it, but we actually listed some learning outcomes for this video. Next, you should understand why CLOs matter in the first place. Course learning outcomes are directly linked to inclusive and equitable practices in higher education. In addition, all students benefit from clear student learning outcomes, especially students who are first-generation learners, non-Caucasian, and transfers, according to Wakelmas in 2013. The Curious Aggies Inquiry is a student-led research initiative that encourages students to share their experiences as learners in order to include students' voices in conversations about how their learning is assessed. This past year, we collected survey responses and led small group interviews that invited participants to tell us things that a survey could not capture. The interview format gave us the opportunity to collect diverse answers that touch on topics related to student learning including CLOs. According to our interviews, when CLOs are clear, I do better on assignments when I know what the purpose of them are, and it helps me learn better when I know what I'm supposed to be learning. It's also a lot easier to start making connections between your course material and the real world if there's a stated learning objective. It's also important to know how to find your CLOs. Knowing how to find your CLOs can help you gain clarity on what you need to know and where to go to refer back to them in the future. Do you know where to find your CLOs? We found that the top three most popular ways in which students find their CLOs in more than half of their courses, according to our 2020 Curious Values Inquiry, are the course syllabus, now, what we have here is a syllabus of Ags 10, or Agriculture, um, a fictional class that's going to be offered this spring. Um, the instructor is Gunrock, and this is a representation of what a good syllabus looks like. So here you can see that your learning goals are outlined, and your course learning outcomes are outlined as well. And so, as you can see, the verbs that were mentioned earlier in the studio are also outlined here, such as analyze, connect, and model. You could also find out your CLOs from professors, instructors, and your TAs. And lastly, through homework and assignments. Although homework and assignments were one of our most reported answers, we highly recommend using the syllabus and asking professors as your primary source for finding CLOs. Homework and assignments are used to reinforce your learning and to give you a chance to reflect on what you've learned. If you're ever unsure of where to find your CLOs, don't be afraid to ask. Finally, it is key to understand the timing of when to find CLOs. According to our 2020 Curious Aggies Inquiry, 72% of students reported findings or CLOs within the first two weeks of the quarter which is the most beneficial time to have and understand your CLOs. Those that are clear and delivered early have only benefited the student. One student reported, usually the first day of class, professors will kind of go over like, this is a course and this is what you should be able to do. I think that's clear in the beginning. And then sometimes I think there's definitely been a course where I'm in the middle of class and I'm like, this is super interesting and I'm learning things but I don't really know what the learning objectives are. By having and knowing CLOs early rather than later, it helps to create a learning environment that is inclusive and equitable. Students should know their CLOs 
prior to being assessed. So if you're getting to the end of the second week of the quarter, make sure to ask for clarity. Now that you have all the basics down, it's time for you to use your CLOs as your toolkit. Course learning outcomes are actionable statements that are measurable and should be able to be demonstrated. With that in mind, regularly referring back to your CLOs can help you stay on track with your class. Think of it as your class toolkit. The main pieces are there, you just need to put them together. Remember, the earlier you find your CLOs, the more effectively you can move through your courses. Good luck this quarter and be sure to look out for your CLOs. Happy learning and remember, 